All right, welcome back. We're going to take a look at the latest Zord OS Lite version. Zord OS has been around for quite a few years now, and they are really uh, one of the best in terms of a polished Linux-based operating system design specifically for Windows users. And this Lite version is superb. So let's take a look at this. I am running this inside a virtual machine. Linux Mint Mate, another great one for beginners, is the host for this virtual box demonstration. So let's take a look at this and uh, see what we got. So ignore the top panel and the bottom panel, these two great panels at the top. We'll go straight into the desktop here. This is the default desktop for Zorn OS Lite. Very clean, very nice, very pleasant, very uh, Windows-ish, I dare say, but it's designed for Windows users who want to try getting their feet wet, <laughs> as it were. Uh, for in uh, in Linux, let's take a look at this and see what we have. Of course, you can uh, right click and have uh, have some different options here. Let's take a look at the wallpapers real quick. Uh, let's see, uh, nice, quite a few selection, quite a few options here for wallpaper. I think I'll leave this the way it is. There is a panel here, a nice blue panel. The one thing I've always liked about this modified version, at least, of the XFCE desktop environment is the ability to add little, what they call items, they're really applets, uh, similar to what you see here in my Linux Mate uh, desktop. But you can add little shortcuts, and I, I actually read it, uh, already added the uh, weather applet. And I used to live in Orlando, so I, I typed in Orlando, and Orlando is very warm. Uh, it's 87 there and 75 here. So very nice having the ability to add just little niceties to the desktop to customize it out of the box. And we do have a time and date here. Let's see if we can um, change that. Let's go to uh, custom format. And uh, yeah, let's go to 12 hour setting. There we go. I think that'll work. That was simple. Okay, let's left click here. Looks like the Parole Media Player is installed by default. Sound settings. I like the use of default colors, fonts, very pleasing on the eyes. Again, if you're coming from a Windows environment, this will be extremely easy, in my opinion. All right, so moving along, this is going to be, let's see, the probably the Thunar File Manager, as it's called. Yes, it is. Okay. And default folders, desktop, documents, downloads, and music. Once again, this is designed for newbies, and it is excellent for newbies. You can um, zoom in, zoom out, change the size, and all that. I think you get the picture. Okay, what do we have here? What is that? Email client? Yeah, Geary, okay. Very good. And it looks like we have Chrome or Chromium installed by default. Take a look real quick. Now, as a full install, this should run a little bit faster, usually, versus running it in a virtual machine. And it is Chromium. All right, very good. Let's get out of this. Let's go straight to the applications or the start button, as I like to call it. There is a search tab or search bar here at the bottom. So we have accessories, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office settings, system and wine, some favorites here. Let's go into settings real quick and see what this looks like. Um, again, very nice use of colors and fonts. Very pleasing to the eyes. Let's see if anything here catches my eye real quick. Uh, uh, let's see, let's try Zorn appearance. Let's see what that does. Modify the look of your Zorn desktop. Desktop theme. Okay. And fonts. All right. Self-explanatory. We'll go to cancel. Looks like there's a couple of layout choices here. Uh, let's see, I think I'll go, you can see some of the changes here at the panel, down at the panel bar. Um, yeah, right here. Uh, I don't know, this one or this one. This one gives me the current opening 
tabs that I have, opening applications. I guess we can leave it the way it is. That works for me. Let's see. Let's see what the software updater looks like. Checking for updates. This is where you would go. Now, when you install this, you do have the option of installing updates as it is as it's installing. That may save you some time. You don't have to do that, but that might be the best way to install the initial updates to Zorin OS Lite number 12. I think it's 12.1 actually. Of course, you can browse while it's checking for updates. Let's go back here. Let's go to accessories and see what we have here. See if anything catches my eye. XF Burn, very nice. Let's go back. Let's go to games. All right, I don't play too many games in Linux. Let's go to graphics. All right, the GIMP, very good. Of course, LibreOffice installed in many Linux distros. Let's go to back again. Internet. Chromium Gary, the Zorn Web Browser Manager. Let's see what that looks like. Boy, this, this looks terrific. The colors and the fonts, very pleasing on the eyes. So if you don't like Chromium, you go to Fox, Web, or Midori. Very well. Updated software has been issued since Zorin 12 was released. Looks like about 83 megabytes. Uh, you know, I'll just do remind me later. So as far as the settings goes, pretty basic stuff. So I think we will uh, move on from this. Very nice. Okay, let's go to multimedia. Let's see, cheese I use sometimes, PTE. As far as um, editing videos in Linux, there aren't a lot of excellent ones. The closest one is Kden Live. So if you want to mess with video editing, check out Kden Live. Pulse audio volume control, very good. XF burn, very good. Let's go back. Office, all right, LibreOffice by default. Settings we looked at, system. Let's uh, look at the task manager. Memory, 14%, not bad at all. I gave this about uh, two gigs of RAM, so the RAM usage is quite low, very nice. And of course, Wine, if you want to try to install Windows applications in Linux. I have not had good luck with this, so that's why I dual boot. So you have the best of both worlds. Uh, let's go back. Let's take a look at one more thing, just out of curiosity. Parole Media Player. What does that look like real quick? Okay, just a basic player, basic controls. I prefer VLC. Parole, I think I've tested in the past, and uh, I think it worked okay. So as far as this goes, um, yeah, what can I say about Zorin 12, the light version? It's terrific. It is light. It's fast. It runs pretty good even in a virtual environment. Uh, should be no problem for a Windows user to get rid of their Windows XP, uh, get rid of their Windows Vista if they still have that, Windows 7 or any form of Windows, and maybe uh, try something like this if you're just looking for something to uh, you know, just quickly install and have it work. Um, out of the box. I think this would be one of your choices to look at along with Linux Mint, what I use now, and Ubuntu Mate. So uh, Zorn, the light version, definitely one of my top three choices uh, for a Linux-based replacement for your uh, Windows operating system. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Um, I just noticed that my shirt matches the wallpaper. Can I see? I, I, I like this shirt. <laughs> Maybe I can blend in if I got closer. Anyway, that's it for this one. If I missed anything, let me know. I'll have a link for Zorn uh, OS below in the show notes. Still one of the best Linux distros for Windows users. Very good, so check it out. That's all I have for this one. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.